Hi, welcome to church. This is a day the Lord has made and we will rejoice in him. Amen. We're going to praise him. We're going to worship him. But you know, I was just preparing. I was thinking of that song, Deep Calls Under Deep. And it talks about the deep rivers, the deep wells. And I'm feeling in my spirit that it's our cry from our heart, deep, calling unto him in this time, in this season. Deep cries out to deep, the river of living waters. And it says, out of your belly will flow rivers of living waters. And so today we want to celebrate the great I am, the king, and cry out from our spirit. Abba Father, cry out to him from the deep wells that are within us, that he is placed there. So deep cries out to deep. See you. 
Focus, Heavenly Father, we cry out deep from in our spirit, Lord. Holy Spirit, we just cry out. From I must be in love, we cry out to you. In our spirit, oh Lord, we cry out to you. Jesus, ever Father, Jesus. this last week and it's about the mercies of God they endure forever and ever and they're new every morning and some things about God just never change, he's unchanging and his blood has set us free thank you Jesus your mercies endure
Jesus, we just thank you. It says in your word, no height nor death shall separate us from the love that's in Christ Jesus. And today, Lord, we're reminded of your love, how great it is, and that your mercies do endure forever and ever. And all God's people said, What I will share with you at the beginning is a true story and then what will follow that's even truer because it will be God's word. On a Saturday night in 1998, a Zeta Millennian went for a jog with one of her dogs. During the jog, the dog stopped to smell and scratch at the dirt on the trail. She went to investigate and saw two feet poking out of the ground. Then she heard the infant cry. Melanian started digging and found a baby wrapped in a blue towel. Lifting him up in her arms, she cleared dirt from his nose and mouth. Please don't die, she said. I will never leave you. I love you. As she waited for police and paramedics to arrive, Melanian tried to comfort the baby. He grabbed my wrist and stopped crying. It was very emotional. What kind of sick human would do something like that? He still had his umbilical cord hanging from his stomach. The baby's body temperature had fallen to 80 degrees. In time, he made a remarkable recovery. The neonatal medical director at the hospital called it really almost a miracle. Nurses named him Baby Christian. In time, the baby was adopted. His parents named him Matthew Christian Whitaker. When he was 17, Matthew learned he was adopted and eventually was told how he was found. I'm here today. I've lived a great life. I was adopted into a great family, Whitaker said. I couldn't ask my parents for any more. 
Twenty years after she found baby Christian, Melanian and Whitaker were tearfully and joyously reunited. They shared the story of their lives since that faithful day. And then Melanian took Whitaker to the hiking trail where she'd found him. Matthew stared through a chain link fence at the spot. This could have been my grave, he said, to which his rescuer replied, You were wanted. We are wanted. God spoke and all his word began our blueprint for life. I have said what I would do and I will do it for I alone am God. We are made in the image of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit according to their likeness. God sent Jesus and Jesus came willingly knowing all that was required of him a relationship of love and trust set from the beginning Jesus came to seek and he came to save and there was another s and that will come at the back John the Baptist was sent from God and he came for a witness to Jesus that all through him everyone might believe. It is written, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I am for you, not against you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are his workmanship. You are the apple of his eye. You shall never perish and neither shall anyone snatch you out of my or my father's hand. My father and I are one. We are children of God. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that as children we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. An heir of everything our father owns and as a joint heir with Christ, whatever Jesus is entitled to, we are also. We being in Christ have the Holy Spirit in our heart and are guaranteed all of God's word and all that he's spoken. For all my promises in Christ Jesus are yes and amen. Our condition might change daily. Our attitude, our emotional setup, our physical setup. But our position in Christ is never going to change. It's sealed to be that way. Praise the Lord for that. Our Abba Father's love for us is a perfect love. Depending upon the school you went to, agape or agape. It's an unconditional love, never changing. We are a so loved one. And that was paid for by Jesus at the cross. We have unmerited, undeserved, unearned love, all full of grace. And that grace is superabounding, superabundant. And we have favour. As I said earlier, Jesus came with three S's. Two I gave you, to seek and to save. The third is he came to send. That's us. We're not going to have to go unless you want to, knocking on doors. Most of those that he wants saved, we will cross their paths or they will cross our paths. In God's good timing, he's the one in charge. We're the ones that he wants to use. What a blessing. What a blessing and what a message we have to share with them. All we need to do is to believe it in our heart and speak it with our mouth. And what does the word of God say? Believe in your heart and speak it and so shall it be. 
We love him because he loved us first. What we have within us and we can outwork it when we believe and open our mouth is the greatest message ever told. It's in us. Speak it. As we have communion, in the three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and in, in Corinthians, where it shares the communion message that Jesus had with his disciples on the night before the cross, he said, this is my body. And it is. This is his body, his flesh, offered up for our sake, broken for our sake. Believe it in your heart and whatever ails you, whatever is not right, you just close your eyes and see Jesus on the cross and his body taking all that the enemy could throw, that could, the enemy could do. He took it all out of love for us, his flesh, his body. And his blood, his blood of the New Testament, the New Covenant. Blood speaks. We go back to the very first part of the Bible and it says, his blood, blood speaks and his blood speaks everything. We're delivered, we're set free, we're made whole. We are Christ's and no one can take that from us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We are blessed well and truly. Thank you.